Hello there, I am Kulbir Singh Aluvalia from Peck University of Technology and today we will see the flickering of tube light at 100Hz using the stroboscopic effect. Now here we have a tube light operating on a magnetic ballast and we have a propeller here with the white part only on one side, white tape only on one side of the propeller. Now we can see the stroboscopic effect here and if you look at the RPM it will be around 3000. We see, we see that the dark part is on opposite sides and it is surrounded by white part. Now majority of the area is covered by the white part because the white tape is reflecting light. And if I increase the RPM to 6000 which is 100 rotations per second and the tube light is also blinking at a frequency of 100 Hz, we will see that the dark part is only on one side and the majority of the area is covered by the white part. We will see its reason later in the video. If our propeller is rotating at 3000 rpm, we have one rotation of the propeller is equal to 20 milliseconds but the light has one cycle which is of 10 milliseconds because it is blinking at a frequency of 100 hertz. So our pro uh, in the time that a propeller makes one rotation, a propeller makes one rotation, we have two cycles of light. Note that the black part corresponds to the white reflective part here and we can see the propeller only when the brightness is above a threshold value means we can see the propeller only in this region and in this region only when the uh, brightness is above a threshold value we cannot see it clearly when it is below the threshold value in this region so if we consider the propeller in this position at t is equal to 0 by the time that the brightness increases above the threshold value the propeller will have moved in this position and we would start seeing it and till the propeller uh, makes its uh, rotation and the brightness is above the threshold value this part will be illuminated and then the, then the brightness will decrease above, below the threshold and we won't be able to see the propeller move from this position to this position then the brightness would again increase and this part will be illuminated and then the brightness would decrease below the threshold and we won't be able to see the propeller move back to its original position. So the net result would be that in one cycle we have this part illuminated and in another cycle we have this part illuminated. So the net result would be that which we see in the video. If half our, of our propeller is covered with white tape and it is rotating at 6000 rpm so one rotation will be 10 milliseconds and if you assume that propeller was initially in this position at t is equal to 0 and it moves to this position when the till the brightness increases above the threshold value and uh, continues to move and it gets here till the brightness uh, just reaches this point below which it uh, we are again not able to see the propeller as the brightness decreases so we see that as long as the brightness is above the threshold value, our propeller moves in this position. So at this entire lower circle is illuminated and we see that pattern as the stroboscopic effect. And uh, uh, in this part, the propeller again returns to its original position.